in Hollywood for dog number two, seven month old latte. I'm gonna try to show you what latte does right now. No major issues, just not very solid obedience. Uh, let me try to show you latte's current level of obedience. Latte, hey, come. Latte, come. Hey, come. Good girl. Come. Come. Latte, come. Latte, come. Come. So other than that, she's pretty solid and everything. <laughs> I'm looking forward to showing you her progress in five days. Hey guys, we're off Hollywood uh, Boulevard showing you how new dog before video latte, seven months old is on her healing. As you see, not too many distractions right now. And this is uh, her current heal level. Heal! Latte. <laughs> <laughs> Bate, heel. Heel. Hey. Bate, heel. 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 So this is uh, Latte's uh, healing on day one. Heel. Latte, heel. So there you have it. This is what we call uh, distract down with distractions here on Hollywood Boulevard. Good girl. Do you need anything? You want another bag? I just started buying. Good girl. No water in his snout and die. They're stupid. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. This is what we call distraction work at Off Leash Canine Training. Latte? Good girl. This is what happens when record breaking goes wild. Don't miss Guinness World Records going wild on TV. Records were meant to be broken. Smashing them has never been this wide. Now, True TV and Guinness World Records are teaming up to rewrite the books. This is Guinness World Records Gone Wild. It's the most of Guinness World Records Gone Wild. Here it's Gone Wild. I mean, just some fingernails and, and long hair. We've got guys blowing up water bottles. We've got people breaking watermelons with their head. Running across a 40 foot breeze pole, sort of taking Guinness World Records to the next level. The records are a faster than we're invented, than we're created. The ICU attempt is a different story, completely different. The decision was made to kind of try and do something that would take it to another level. 
latte. Frick. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, latte. Down. Just showing her elevator manners. Bit of distraction work. What do you guys think? Is this uh, enough? Healing with distractions? I think so. This should do. Latte, <laughs> yo. Oh, thanks, yeah. So that's what healing with distractions looks like at off-leash canine training. And then I slow down, truffle slows down. Truffle! Uh, 
This is what healing with distractions looks like. Latte and Carolyn on day four of training of my private seminar in Hollywood. Good girl. Good girl. place. Your favorite chair. Brick. Good girl. Lati. Yeah. <laughs> this is Latte playing with her squeaky toy. Hey, I'm Carolyn Sturtsberry. I have a lovely Montague Latte. She's seven and a half months old. She, we did basic obedience, but she honestly would still paw on the leash and I couldn't have her off leash and she was getting really adolescent. So I heard about Nicholas White at Off Leash Canine and I was so excited for him to come because I just had had it enough and I was getting really frustrated with her, which was affecting our relationship. And after a couple days, I was just completely amazed at the results. She was jumping up onto things and placing, staying down, sitting off leash. We went through the grove with like 200 people. She was right by my side. I call her my little minnow now. And I'm super happy with his training and I would recommend this to anyone who has a dog. I mean, we see so many dogs that are just pulling the owners all over the place and Mate's just sitting quietly at my feet and I love it. Thanks, Nick.